Your community, your world, your radio station. 107.9 FM. WWPH. In Princeton Junction. Welcome to 107.9 FM. WWPH in Princeton Junction. It is Daylight with Kaylee. Liana. And Utica. Welcome back. It is a Monday. And honestly, my weekend was boring. So... I'm moving and we're looking for houses right now so I drove an hour to our new like to look at this new house and honestly it was a very funny house so outside beautifully modern and we literally stepped into a time machine or like a time warped portal because this house they have collected everything from I guess the start of America like they had pictures <laughs> like it literally looked like original paintings and um like drawings of the founding fathers they had the butter buckets that you make oh my they gosh. had beautiful original china all over their house like it was such an antique home but the outside the pool was lovely it was just beautiful big home but it was kind of like some of the paintings were scary the way they looked at you and i'll show you guys there was like the animal there was like a cat dog thing that was dressed in like the traditional gowns i don't even know it was just a very fascinating home so that was my weekend aside from being worked to the bone (laughs) yeah i didn't really do much this week i'm gonna be honest my weekend was really boring i didn't do much um but i did some more baking per usual and um you know just getting hyped for two lacrosse games back to back before spring starts so I mean, lacrosse is fun, and I feel like coming into the spring sports, it just makes me feel the end of the year coming near, because everybody is like... It's great, but it's so stressful at the same time, because I'm like, I can't can't do end of the year right now, so... Well, good luck at your scrimmage, or is it a game today? First game, yeah. First game today, so it's a home game, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Well, my weekend was a pretty... Hectic, but it was very fun. It was the SASA program thing, and it mm-hmm. went really well. It was very exciting. A lot of people showed up. For How was your solo? <laughs> it was good, <laughs> I okay. think. I don't know. I'm not supposed to be the judge of that, but I was happy with it. It was just a fun experience overall. It was very sad, though. It was sad? Yeah, because it's all the officers. It's their last ever show, so oh. everyone was crying. Let Miss Leonard was crying on stage. That so was, was an emotion. I know you felt the... Well, I mean, it was just fun for me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun. Thank you. Thank you. Sad for your colleagues, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back on 107.9 FM after this quick break. Push the tempo. 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 We're always pushing the tempo here on 107.9 FM. WWBH in Princeton Junction. Welcome back to Daylight with our first opening talk and just as we mentioned before it is spring season spring break is starting we have one more day one more day before we go on spring break are you practicing over spring break uh yes i am but we don't have practice for the rest of this week after tuesday so i'm going to new hampshire with my uh dad and my brother okay oh that's fun well that's exciting so for us i know that there are so many activities to do whether it's over spring break or just over this season before summer starts and i wanted to share the spring activities so first up and these are mainly like local or slightly a little bit outside of new jersey stuff that you could do because sometimes not everybody wants to go out spending a ton of money to go to the caribbean during the spring right (laughs) so first First up on the docket, we have Washington, D.C. for the blooming trees. I know this is a popular one. It is. The cherry blossoms. Yeah. It's so pretty. But I feel like there are so many cherry blossoms in New Jersey, too. Like, people just have them. That is true. But I think it's just great to see that, like, those, uh, the abundance of those trees (laughs) over there. And it's very nice to take pictures. Okay. Yeah. I don't I know, guess. my opinion. <laughs> pick up. Another pick up is the Spring Flowers at Holland Farms, which is in New Jersey, as well as the Deep Cut Gardens in southern New Jersey. And another thing you could do over spring break or spring is host a garden tea party. Which one? 
I really love this idea. No, when I saw this, when I was reading this the other day, oh my gosh. Because I, I had already, I've been planning on doing a tea party Aww. with my friends, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should actually do it after that. Yes, it's so cute, like, having the little pastries and stuff. Like, uh, I don't know, it's just fascinating. I wish I had friends to do that with. <laughs> like, I would want to host one. I just don't like hosting things, but... Going to one? Free mm. food? I mean, I'm, I'm down. Always. Of course you <laughs> love the free food, right? <laughs> um, another one we could do is petting zoo, six flags, turtle back zoo. And if you have a little kid, or even you don't have to be a little kid, you could be a teenager. Go to Diggerland USA. Trust me, I've been. It's, like, small, but it's, like, fun because you get to, like, drive tractors and stuff. Like, it's <laughs> so cool. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of, like, I have two boy bro- siblings. <laughs> like, let's be for real. Why did I say boy siblings? I have boy two brothers. brothers. <laughs> I have two brothers. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm just, like, a little boy at heart, too. Okay, and the last one I'll share today is doing an egg scavenger hunt. Of course. Duh. It's spring. Do a scavenger hunt. All right. We'll be right back. If you want to feel like you're walking on sunshine, listen to 107.9 FM, WPH in Princeton Junction. To Divine 107.9, welcome back to Daylight. Um, so the bit today is song association. So I've like when I was younger and like obsessed with YouTube, I was obsessed with watching. I think it's like it's either GQ or one of those like magazines. They have their YouTube channel and they do song association with celebrities. And I love it. Honestly, I think it's a fun game. And here's our game. So the rules are basically you just have 10 seconds to sing a song with the given word and you must sing the right words and a full lyric. Okay. So it's no humming the song. It's no, oh, I know the song. I know the song. Like, all right, all right. But I will give you one. If you really cannot think of the lyrics and you can think of a title with the word, that's fine. I'll okay. give it to you. Or if it's, like, not a high road song, just don't say it at all. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Perfect, because, you know, we're the high road station. Okay, first word I'm going to give to you, okay. um, Yutika, and then we're going to bounce to Eliana. Okay. Three, two, one. The word is look. 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 Ooh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. <laughs> look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me do. Perfect. <laughs> With seven seconds, she actually made that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So one point goes to you, Eliana. Ready? This one is Bill. Kill Bill by SZA. I don't know if it's high road, though. It's, it's, yeah. (laughs) But I know. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Next song is Kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. One kiss is all it takes. Mm. Falling in love with me. Possibilities. Possibilities. Yeah, you're supposed to know the whole oh, lyric. No. If you're gonna sing something, know it, girl. What are you doing? I'm Coming sorry. like those little kids in the car, <laughs> m- mumbling, making up their own lyrics. <laughs> Qu- okay, word four. Far. I don't know if I can sing it. How far I'll go in the Moana soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> Eliana. <laughs> I mean, she, technically she did get it. Yeah, she, no, she did get it. I said if you don't know the lyrics, it's fine. Okay. I mean, we'll just scratch the full lyric thing, I guess. If you know the song and you start singing, you have to sing the full lyric. If you know, this don't... That's tough. I don't know the titles of most songs. Okay, good. All right, it's okay. All right, five. Wanna. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Tell me what five. you want, what you really, really want. Now tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna. Zigga zigga ah. Okay, okay. <laughs> and we'll end it off on this one. Used. Ooh. I have one. Five. You go, you take go. I'm not gonna get it. Three, two. Can I go? Yeah. One. Yeah, you could you could redeem it. Yeah, we used to be best buddies, <laughs> and now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you wanna build a snowman? Do you wanna build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. It doesn't have to be a snowman. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, that's so <laughs> we'll be right back on the Great One Away after you take this quick break. Mark Royster, and you're listening to 107.9 FM WWPH in Princeton Junction. 
Welcome back, welcome back. It is time for your WWP School Spotlight Scholarships. WWP students are invited to participate in the WWP Local Scholarship Program. So as we know, and we have all been mentioning the programs, the scholarships, they all give you money. They can give you money for reward and merit, need, purpose, achievement, and contribution to school and community. And there are so many in that booklet. I went through the whole booklet provided by the, the South And uh, hmm, I was checking through. I was like, oh, my God, I didn't even know we had all this many. It is free money, guys. Come on. So if you want your own packet, go to your counseling office. And it is due, however, by the end of spring break, which is April 18th, 2023. And please note that some of the scholarships within the packet itself have individual application forms, earlier deadlines, and even specific instructions. So check that out. And it's fun if you're, like, competitive. You know, you can write. You can even just apply and see what happens, you know, like put yourself out there sometimes and it allows you a more depth free college experience i'll always say this scholarships are a great opportunity whether you want to go to college like you know it just like Absolutely. gives you a boost um and next up wwp is holding an open kindergarten registration for new students in the 2023 to 2024 school year on Wednesday, April 26, 2023, from 1 to 7 p.m. at the District Central's office located on at 321 Village Road, East West Windsor. Members of the school registration and technology staff will be available to assist families with the online registration process. A child's birth- birthday must be fall between October 2nd, 2017 and October 1st, 2018 to be eligible to attend kindergarten for that school year. Appointments are not necessary and you could go to the district's website to find the documents required to attend on April 26th. So make sure to check that out. And finally, in terms of pirate sports, there's a home game against Hopewell Valley Central High School for varsity baseball um, today at 4 p.m. And a home game versus Trenton Central High School varsity softball team at 4 p.m. again. And I would be remiss if I don't give a little bit of self-promo. So the girls JV and varsity um, lacrosse teams also have a home game at 4 o'clock and 5.15 today um, here as well, and we'll be by- back after this break. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. You'll be in trouble if you don't listen to 107.9 FM, WWPH, in Princeton Junction. So many great radio stations to listen from, but this one has the best news, talks, and music. On your mark, get set, go! Listen to 107.9 FM, WWPH, in Princeton Junction. Welcome back to 107.9 FM. Here is your in the news discussion. So first on the docket, I want to talk. I'm so sorry for keep saying next on the docket. First on the docket. <laughs> we have airline fares. So New Jersey has joined California, Maryland, and North Carolina in a federal lawsuit at blocking JetBlue's $3.8 billion purchase of Spirit Airlines, which is scheduled for trial this fall. It's supposed to start in October 16th in Boston. And so the Biden administration argues that the deal would reduce competition and drive up prices for airline consumers by eliminating Spirit, which is known for its low fares. So JetBlue is arguing against that, saying that the deal will help consumers by making the New York-based airline a stronger competitor against American Airlines, Delta Airlines, United Airlines, and Southwest Airlines. So I personally, I fly JetBlue (laughs) a lot of the times to go home, so I kind of like don't like that they're gonna jack up their prices i don't like it either because for spirit it's known like like you mentioned it's known for its low fares and spirit does have many problems like i've taken the flight many times and half the time it's like canceled but it's very very affordable for people who don't want to take like expensive you know flights so exactly. jet blue buying it uh, i don't know uh, not the best idea I mean, understandable, right? We all want to be able to travel, but traveling a lot a lot of the times is very, very expensive. expensive. Yes. I mean, don't fly all together, guys. Save the earth. Walk. walk. <laughs> so, yes. <Okay. laughs> what do you say? mean? You could walk. True. Yeah. If bike. Kaylee could walk, you could walk. <laughs> you could cycle. When I say bike, I do not mean motorcycle. Bike. <laughs> 
hike to Florida. <laughs> It'll only take you a couple of weeks. <laughs> I am so sad. Ridiculous. Okay, next we have U.S. school safety. So state legislature legislatures across the country are moving forward with bills aiming to improve school safety. Um, they introduced in blue and red states alike and would require schools to install technology ranging from panic buttons, video surveillance, and emergency communication systems. Some experts say teacher safety training is more effective and less expensive than new technologies, which also can require upgrades or ongoing maintenance that may not be funded. So I think this is a great step because... Uh, I think it should have been done way earlier, but it's better now than later. And, you know, if passed, the panic alert bill would make Oregon the fourth state along with the Republican-led Florida and Democratic-led New Jersey and New York to enact such a law. Several other states are considering similar legislation. I mean... Democrats, uh, state lawmakers are calling for tighter gun laws as a way to like stem, like you know, school shootings and many other like school related mm -hmm. problems, right? And I think it's okay to support that, but does it really help? I think that there should be a combination. That's true. Instead like, of saying, oh, we should train teachers, no, 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 we should just install the panic button. Why not just do both? both. Like, yeah, this is true. ridiculous that we even have this problem <laughs> as a nation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I completely agree. And um, in other news, Brittany Grinder, a basketball skull, a basketball star who was detained in Russia for nearly 10 months in 2022, um, said America must do everything in their power to bring home a Wall Street Journal reporter, Evan Gershkovich. Yeah, I don't know how to say his name. I think it's Gershkovich or something. Gershkovich. I don't know. Uh, um, who Moscow is accusing of espionage. And he was detained on suspicion of spying, drawing condem t condemnation from U.S. states um, of press freedom groups. Yeah, I know. In an Instagram post Saturday night, Griner and her wife, Sherelle, wrote that their hearts are filled with great concern for Evan and his family. And, I mean, there are so many. I think there are at least 54 wrongfully de um, detained or held hostage ab like people abroad today, according to the W. Foley Legacy Foundation. And so many people are just advocating for release for these people especially Griner because she has been detained before right and the White House press secretary Karen Jean Pierre said that targeting of the targeting of American citizens by the Russian government is unacceptable and condemned his detention in the strongest terms like condemning um Evans detain detainment yeah. yeah, yeah, and the Russian Federal Security Bureau, uh, Bureau alleged in a statement that um, Evan acting was acting on an assignment from the American side was gathering information classified as a state secret about the activity of one of the enterprises of milit Russia's military industri industrial complex. I think that they just feel like they have to protect a lot. And so they feel threatened by his, like, journalism. But, I mean, the Wall Street Journal Journal said in a statement that he, did they deny any allegations from the FSB and seek the immediate release of him. Like, they're like, no, 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 we were not doing anything. Please release him. Please release him. I think they should just release him. But, you know, they're not listening. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's also important, though, to realize that it's not just these people who are maybe more famous. Like, I know the basketball, um, she got a lot of attention from the media, and obviously, like, it's important to get everyone out, but I just think that sometimes we forget that there are people who maybe aren't so um, public with mm -hmm, their lives mm -hmm. that are also being detained right now. You're absolutely right. Yeah, for simple things, right? I mean, it's, it's scary that something like that could happen to you. You think you're going, maybe, let's say, on vacation, <laughs> and boom, you're detained, and you... We're just doing your job. That's scary. <sighs> I hope he still got paid. <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, we'll be right back. I hope that he gets the help that he needs. We'll take a quick break. Be right back. Blimey, my tea party was canceled. Where am I going to get the latest tea on community events and entertainment? Oh, that's rubbish. Haven't you heard of the tea party at 107.9 FM? 
They have the latest community events, pop culture, news, and some fun bits too. And you can catch up with the show members during their tea time. So when is it and where? Tune into the Tea Party for afternoon tea at 107.9 FM WWPH in Princeton Junction. Sip some tea with the hosts of Tea Party as they discuss the latest topics in pop culture. They'll also keep you up to date on what's happening on our community. And don't miss the daily tea time. So join Radhika, Sham, Ar- Arbia, and Thane in the Tea Party on only 107.9 FM WPH in Princeton Junction. Whoa. What a long day. I had two tests and a quiz. Yeah, I know. Thank God I have study hall now. I'm really hungry and thirsty, too. Let's go get something from the vending machines. Hmm, I don't know. What should I get? Let's see. Do I want a brown sugar cinnamon pop-tart or do I want M&M's? What do you think? Well, it looks like you really don't have a choice. Because of the new rules in high schools, vending machines cannot carry chocolate items. Oh, well, at least that makes my choice easier. A message from 107.9 FM, WWPH, and Princeton Junction. You thinking about changing the station? Take it from Gandalf. Stay tuned with the great 108. Welcome back to 107.9 FM WWPH in Princeton Junction. It is time for your bit of the day. Today's bit is a moment for poetry as it is Monday, and sometimes I think Mondays we just need to slow down. This one is called The The Spring by Thomas Carew. Now that winter is gone, the earth has lost her snow-white robes, and now no more frost candies to grass or casts an icy cream upon the silver lake or crystal stream. But the warm sun thaws the benumbed earth and makes it tender, gives a sacred birth to the dead swallow, wakes in the hollow tree, the drusky cuckoo, and the humble bee. Now do a choir of chirping minstrels bring in a triumph to the world of the youthful spring. The valleys, hills, and woods in rich array welcome the coming of the longed-for May. Now all things smile, only my love doth lure, nor hath the scalding noonday sun the power to melt the marble ice, which still doth hold her earth, her heart coningled, and makes her pity cold. The ox which lately did for shelter fly into the stall doth now securely lie in open fields, and love no more is made by the, the fireside, but in the cooler shade. Antinous now doth with his chorus sleep under a sycamore, and all things keep time with the season. Only she doth carry June in her eyes, in her heart, January. And that was The Spring by Thomas Carew. We'll be right back on 107.9. Keep vibing, just keep listening, vibing, listening. What do you do? You tune into 107.9 FM WWPH in Princeton Junction, and you're guaranteed to vibe for life. Welcome back to 107.9 FM. It's daylight, and it is time for your community spotlight. So first up is the egg hunt, which is occurring at the Wifkoff House Museum on Sunday, April 9th. That's this Sunday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. They will have outdoor games, museum tours, and so much more at 641 Plainsboro Road. Again, that's 641 Plainsboro Road. To learn more and get a registration, information visit www.wicoff or with wickoff house plainsboro.com they have so many activities going on and the next one is actually the juniors historian club so juniors historian club is on saturdays from two o'clock p.m to four o'clock p.m from april 8th 2023 to june 17th 2023 it accepts ages 6 through 8 and has topics of study such as architecture, conversation, archaeology, genealogy, crafts, museum scavenger hunts, and weekly activities. Members will receive a t-shirt and a logbook, and it is $35 for 10 classes. Visit www.wyckoffhouseplainsboro.com for more information and registration. And finally, the Louis Bay Second Future Municipal Leaders Scholarship application is open to all high school juniors and seniors. Deadline is today, April 3rd. 
um, and if you haven't done it yet, an essay is required to be submitted about what my municipal government does best. And it's only 500 words, about 500 words. 15 finalists will be selected who will all get a certificate, and three winners will receive $1,000. All information, rules, and application forms can be found on the West Windsor Township website. Once again, the deadline is today, so make sure to turn that in if you want to do it. <laughs> With that, we'll be right back on The Great 108. Hi, this is Christy Whitman, and you're listening to WWPH 107.9 FM in Princeton Junction. Welcome back to 107.9 FM in Princeton Junction. So, for our last freeform talk, I want to talk about good habits. Bad habits, eat the night. Conversations, eat the I don't even actually know the song. I know it from a radio station. <laughs> Literally. Okay. So, habits shape our attitudes, actions, and decision-making abilities, and they affect every aspect of our life. A good habit will help you reach your goals, develop both personality, personally and professionally, <laughs> and feel fulfilled. Habits are driven by reward-seeking mechanisms in the brain, and they're often triggered by something specific. For instance, walking past a cafe and smelling coffee beans can trigger you to want a cup. Forming habits in the brain is the brain's way of being more efficient. As far as the brain is concerned, the more tasks you complete without wasting time thinking about them, the better. The main difference between a habit and a routine is your awareness. Both a regular repeated actions. However, habits run on autopilot while routines are intentional. So, Charles Duhigg cre actually created the power of a habit, which means that there's a cue or a trigger. Secondly, there's a craving or motivation to execute that. There's a response and then there's a reward. So, some mistakes to m avoid when you're trying to get rid of your bad habits is you fail to control or change the environment. If I need to stop biting my nails, I don't go to AP Chem. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll change my environment. I'm kidding, but like that's what this is all about, right? You have to remove yourself from the environment to feel better, right? Secondly, you have to try to change you try to change too much at one time. You have to try to make those small steps. You have to have commitment. You have to be focused but not overly focused on the outcome. I'm talking about like know that okay, I need to do XYZ let me just do xyz and not worry about the and more that comes after and the reward and finally avoid assuming that small changes don't add up so you to truly have a new habit formed you want to eliminate triggers right you want to reduce your cravings to the bad habit you want to make a negative habit difficult like make sure that you got to go out of your way to have that habit uncover the root of the problem adopt healthy routines or healthier routines swap a bad habit for a better habit and build intruistic motivation i want to hear what's a bad habit you have that's not really bad but it's just like an annoying habit Ooh, i don't know i have many <laughs> i can't like my main one i don't know if it's a habit maybe it is a routine i don't really know but procrastinating is that a habit yeah that's yeah. a bad habit okay yeah it's definitely because you unconsciously you just put it off yeah. put it off put it okay, off it's definitely like that's my biggest bad habit that i have to fix i think same but i think this year i've definitely seen your procrastination at its worst yeah and i think i don't especially even especially after my second semester or yeah from second marking period uh, well maybe guys, we should I both work on it together yeah i think we should okay <laughs> eliana let's hear yours and then we'll take a break i think Honestly, I don't follow any of the portion sizes, like, on the back of boxes, I honest, I don't know if that's, like, really a habit or anything, but, like, I just choose to completely ignore that's them. So I just think that's funny. Like, yeah. that's just, like... I feel like no one does it. The baker in you. Yeah, true, true, very true. Yeah, I made cookies the other day, and I was like, oh, I'll just have one. Aww. I know, I tell you, I did not have just one. I think that's everybody, because I love cookies. Cookies are my weakness. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back on The Great 108. Take the best radio station around, 107.9 FM, WPH, in Prince Junction. In your hand, marriage? I do! You belong with me. You belong with me. Bro, what are you doing? 
Oops, I must have gotten caught up in my music. Well, what are you listening to? I'm listening to Daylight on 107.9 FM, WAPH in Princeton Junction, of course. Mamma mia, here I go again. And he said, our song is Slam Screen Door. Wow, everyone should listen to Daylight. Your community, your world, your radio station. 107.9 FM. WWPH in Princeton Junction. Good afternoon. This is Lisa with your 107.9 FM round of flash for Monday, 3rd April 2020. The good, the good news um, bet are, provide, are providing um, ways to keep your pets safe as spring starts. They mention how spending time outdoors could have exposure to fleas and ticks, and it is important that your pets are, pets are fully vaccinated. According to the National Weather Service System, New Jersey has been dealing with the after effects of thunderstorms. On Saturday night, there were there was an outbreak with four thunderstorms, which almost caused damage in many um, parts of New Jersey. Residents all across the United States are facing the aftermath of the damages from the storms in Arkansas and um, Delaware. They have been facing the dozens of um, tornadoes and have killed 32 people. As the March Madness comes to an end, the, NCAA, the NCAA tournament closes out on Monday with the UPenn plays San Diego State. WWE and um, the United Fight Championships are combining powers to create a $21 million um, dollar sports entertainment company and they will start playing um, the UFC uh, wrestling matches. The Monkey Beard end com- the Monkey Beard comes to an end on 4th April and this will start the then this will start the beginning of spring break. The traffic is moving fast at US1 at Quaker Bridge Road and the Northeast Corridor is on time. The temperature is currently 59 degrees and sunny and tonight's weather will go as those 45 degrees and partly cloudy and tomorrow is going to be 74 degrees and warmer. This has been Ishika with your 107.9 round of flash for Monday 3rd April. Approaching on the high road. Over. Roger that, Red Falcon. We just received intel. The bogey's only identification is 1079 FM. It is heavily equipped with professional productions and explosive news stories. Over. Roger that. Preparing to engage. <laughs> abort, abort. 1079 FM is a friendly. I repeat, 1079 FM is a friendly. Return to base, Roadrunner. Copy, copy. Come experience the prowess of 107.9 FM, WWPH, and Princeton Junction. Are you one of the many teens who owns a phone, laptop, maybe a graphing calculator or debit card? If you bring these items to school on a regular basis without locking them up, how do you feel someone took them while you were at sports practice or even gym class? Young people ages 12 through 17 are more likely to have their possessions stolen than adults, and most of these thefts occur on school grounds without being reported. So lock up your lockers today and keep your valuables safe. A message brought to you by 107.9 FM, WWPH, and Princeton Junction. Hey, 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 you're listening to The Great 108, 107.9 FM, WPH in Princeton Junction. Yeah. Welcome back to 107.9 FM. Real quick, this is debatable. It's definitely becoming my favorite um, bit to have, so it's a game break, and I'm not playing the sounder because we have to go, but is it better to be TikTok famous than Instagram famous? I'd say yes. You would say yes. no. Okay, why would you say no? I think you can make more money off of Instagram, and I also don't have TikTok, so I'm biased. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of indifferent, but I do think that Instagram has everything that TikTok has, so I would say Instagram with you. Okay, Pluto should be considered a planet. Yes, I feel bad yeah. for him. Yeah. I think we're all just emotionally attached to Pluto, <laughs> yeah. and that's why we need it to be a planet. Okay, aliens are li- living among us. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, there has to be something. Like, I can't sit here and say no. Yeah. Even if it's a germ. If you're an alien listening to this, (laughs) hit my line. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) And finally, going out is more fun than staying in. Yeah. I'd agree. I would not. I would not either, because I think if you're staying in but with your friends, that's more fun than going out with friends. Yeah. And think about it. Going out, you got to spend money. You're bound to spend money. Yeah, I'm done What's with What's life money? without spending money? I'm team save money. <laughs> so, wait, I think we should end on this one because this one is, like, favorite. Superheroes should have to pay for all the damage they cause. Yeah. 
Are you kidding? They're definitely rich. Like, you're yeah. saying Batman who's... Exactly. Like, and they cause unnecessary damage. Yeah. One little fight, and they broke down the Empire State Building. What's going on, guys? Let's just start there. We <laughs> all on? agree on that one. Yep. Iron Man, why are you in the middle of the building? I'm trying to work. <laughs> I'm trying to make bank, bro. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to Daylight today. It has been wonderful. Definitely a ball to laugh with you guys, to share poetry. Spring is coming up. Tomorrow we have our Turn Up Tuesday bit at 1.50 p.m. with you. Tika and I'm on news. Uh, wait, am I on news? I'm on news. You're on news. <laughs> I'm co hosting, so you'll definitely hear my voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. We can sw- yes, I am. There's- we can switch if you want. Oh, oh no. no. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening and joining us today. After spring break, we'll definitely come back with a banger. Even though I will not have my Monday show, we'll try to like. Um, reinstate that we'll definitely have some fun maybe tuesday you take and i can swap or something maybe maybe (laughs) if you guys want to hear me engineer you know because i'm goat i'm a goated am i sure let's just say that i'm kidding absolutely Absolutely. (laughs) i hope you enjoyed our little singing uh, what was it spontaneous singing song association definitely (laughs) cut that bit out and post it on instagram let's go viral guys all right thank you so much for listening (laughs) goodbye